In this video, we'll explore the setup of Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core for developers running Windows. You'll learn how to install and configure ASP.NET Core and Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core. You'll also see two examples, one built using Visual Studio and another built using Visual Studio Code and the .NET CLI. Let's get started. To begin, let's review the requirements for .NET Core since ASP.NET Core is built on top of it. Generally speaking, you'll need Windows 7 SP1 or greater running on your development machine. If you're targeting Windows Server, you'll want to run 2008 R2 SP1 or greater. Now, since we're targeting .NET Core, you'll want to read what the docs state about dependencies. Next, download and install the .NET Core SDK. This is available at .NET.Microsoft.com. This includes the .NET Core runtime and the .NET CLI. Another way to do this is through the .NET install scripts. These allow you to perform a non-admin installation of the .NET Core SDK, which includes the .NET Core CLI tools and the shared runtime. If you aren't using Visual Studio, then you'll need some kind of text editor. Personally, I like Visual Studio Code. However, Sublime Text or Atom are perfectly suitable as well. If you're using Visual Studio, we support the two most recent versions, which are Visual Studio 2017 and Visual Studio 2019. Please note that if you're running Visual Studio 2015, you can use it only on .NET Core 1 development due to limitations with the .NET Core tooling. Now let's install and use Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core. I'll install Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core by downloading the installer package from my account on Telerik.com. It's the one listed here. We also provide other files for setup. These are for customers looking to host our NuGet packages within a development environment. We also provide the Visual Studio extensions separately along with the source code. All of this is available when you purchase a license. I should note that we provide this same set of files for every version of the product we make. Also, we provide internal and beta builds for customers looking to incorporate hotfixes or advanced features that haven't yet shipped. Anyway, back to the installer. Let's go ahead and run it. This takes anywhere from a minute to three minutes to complete. Once it's finished, Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core will be installed. This includes its assets like images, its libraries and dependencies, basically everything you need to get started with your development. Also, our extensions for Visual Studio will be installed into any instances that are present on the target machine. Now let's create a sample application using Visual Studio. I'm gonna do this using Visual Studio 2019. However, I could just as easily do this with Visual Studio 2017. I'll create a new ASP.NET Core web application through the extension. You'll find it under Extensions, Telerik, Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core. I'll give it a name, Hello ASP.NET Core. When I click the Create button, this wizard is displayed, which prompts me to specify the type of project I wish to create. Now, I'm a big fan of grids, so I'll specify the grid and menu option and click Finish. Our extension will use this information to generate a new ASP.NET Core web app with Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core integrated. Running this application displays a web page with the grid control loaded with some dummy data. The grid is configured to use a variety of features that are built in, such as paging, filtering, sorting, and so on. Let's jump back to Visual Studio to see what the extension created. I'll open up the Razor view, index.cshtml. If we scroll down, you'll see one of the tag helpers that's available in Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core, Kendo-Grid. It has a list of columns specified and an integrated data source. The data source plays a significant role. It provides data-specific functions for data binding 
and constructing CRUD operations for all our controls. From this point, you're ready to go with Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core with Visual Studio. Now let's switch gears and take a look at how to create the same project using the .NET CLI. On the command line, I'll create a new directory called Hello ASP.NET Core. Next, I'll run the command .NET new MVC to create a .NET Core application using the default web MVC template. This step will also run .NET Restore for the project template dependencies, which get downloaded from NuGet. Finally, I'll execute the run command to host the application I just created. This takes a couple of seconds to run. I'll fire up a browser and point it to the host address. And as you can see, we have a typical ASP.NET Core application running with its default MVC template. Now let's integrate Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core into this application through NuGet. I'll start by checking my list of registered sources for NuGet. I can do this using the CLI. Along with NuGet.org, I've set up the private Telerik NuGet feed with my credentials. This is where we host the packages for Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core, along with other products that require it. The next step is to install Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core through the .NET CLI. This is done through the command .NET add package telerik.ui.4.aspnet.core. This command takes a few seconds to pull down the package and any dependencies it has. And once that's done, we'll open up the project with Visual Studio Code. This is the project structure for my application. Now, there are a few things we need to do before we can start using Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core. The first thing we need to do is to register the Kendo UI service with this application. This is done through the configure services method. A service is a reusable component that provides app functionality. Services are configured with this method and consumed across the app via dependency injection or application services. Next, we need to import the kendo.mvc.ui namespace in the view imports of this application. This will allow us to reference the HTML helpers that ship with Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core and use them into any of the views that we create. We'll also include our tag helpers so that they can be used in those same views as well. The next step is to include the client-side resources for Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core. This is done because Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core relies on a front-end library called Kendo UI for its client-side rendering. Now, this step can be done in a few ways. For this example, I'll show you how to include them manually. However, you can use popular web development tools like MPN or Yarn to pull them down. First, we'll grab the latest version of Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core from my Telerik.com account. There are a few to choose from. The one you'll want is this one. It contains the minified scripts and style sheets we need for our application. The next step is to add the JS and Styles folders to the project. Namely, we'll add them to a folder that we'll call kendo-ui, and we'll put this in the lib folder. This is short for libraries. This folder is used to persist any third-party client-side libraries we need for our application. Now that's done, the next step is to use the libraries that we just added. In the layout view, I've added the Bootstrap v4 theme for both development and production environments. The remote location, which is hosted on our CDN, is used when I'm ready to create a non-development build for deployment. I've also added the necessary scripts for Kendi UI to this view, along with specifying their CDN-based locations. The last step is to add the date picker to our home page. I'll do this through its HTML helper. As I stated before, we provide both HTML helpers and tag helpers to suit your style of development. 
All that's left for us to do now is to run our application using the .NET CLI. And as you can see, here is the date picker we added with the Bootstrap v4 theme applied. In this video, we explored the setup of Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core for developers running Windows. You learned how to install and configure ASP.NET Core and Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core. You also saw two examples, one built using Visual Studio and another built using Visual Studio Code and the .NET CLI. For more information about Telerik UI for ASP.NET Core, please visit our website at telerik.com slash ASP.NET core dash UI.